Hey guys, it's me, Johan, and I'm here to introduce to you a teaching strategy. This strategy is what we call as Collaborative Learning. So what is Collaborative Learning? Collaborative learning is the educational approach of using groups to enhance learning. Groups of two or more learners work together to solve problems, complete tasks, or learn new concepts. This approach actively engages learners to process and synthesize information and concepts, rather than just using rote memorization of facts and figures. The key features of this strategy are... Collaborative learning enriches the classroom for students. It begins with meaningful tasks that students participating in negotiating roles, responsibilities, and outcomes. It actively encourages learning and focusing together rather than just delegating parts of the task. Group selection is a vital consideration. Group learning activities are specially designed so that student collaboration is essential to effectively accomplish the task, share roles, responsibilities, and the ownership of outcomes. There are five basic elements of collaborative learning. We have positive interdependence, individual and group accountability, interpersonal and small group skills, face-to-face -face promotive interaction, and group processing. Aside from the five basic elements, I will also be providing you some examples of the collaborative learning techniques. First we have is the think or write, pair, share. This is a collaborative learning technique that encourages individual participation and is applicable across all grade levels and class sizes. Second is what we call as the round table. It is a collaborative learning technique that allows students to assess prior knowledge, recall information, and practice communication skills. Third we have is the jigsaw. It is a collaborative learning technique that gives students practice in the acquisition and presentation of new material, in review, and in informed debate. Fourth and last is we have the concept mapping. It is a collaborative learning technique that allows students working in groups in a way of illustrating the connections that exist between terms or concepts covered in the course of material. Before utilizing this strategy, there has to be theories that support this strategy in order to give evidence to its effectivity as a teaching strategy. We have Vygotsky's theory of social development. Piaget's theory of cognitive development, and Hutchins' distributed cognition theory. Vygotsky's theory approaches learning from a social cultural viewpoint, arguing that individual development does not happen without being informed by social and cultural contexts. He proposed that speech plays a major role in the development of thought with conversations with more knowledgeable people driving forward understanding and cognition. In Piaget's theory, he states that as children grow, they construct an understanding of the world around them, experience discrepancies between their understanding and their experiences, then correct those discrepancies through reorganizing their mental processes. In Hutchins' distributed cognition theory, it was from his observation involving the ship. It was gathered that in order for it to be navigated successfully, information from several resources must collaborate. After all, the navigation of a ship requires the cooperation and combined effort of sailors, technology, and tools. In similar fashion, Hutchins observed that the navigating an airplane also employs numerous resources. Therefore, Hutchins concluded that the cognition seems to be more than simply an individual effort, but the collaboration of shared resources. 
Now that you know the theories that supports this strategy, I will flash you some research tests where it was utilized. First, we have is collaborative learning practices. Teacher and students perceived obstacles to effective student collaboration by Johnson and Wobbles 2017. Next, we have collaborative learning in higher education evoking positive interdependence by Skagger and members 2016. Next, we have collaborative learning increasing student engagement outside the classroom by Hernandez 2012. And lastly, the effect of collaborative learning on enhancing student achievement, a meta-analysis by Comar 2017. To give you an insight on the strategy, I will be showing you a sample lesson plan. So hi guys, this is the end of our video. I hope you have enjoyed and learned a lot of things about this strategy. I hope you're doing good. Be safe, be healthy, be positive because tomorrow is another day. Bye!